this video I would be discussing rotary switch how to wire a two pole four position rotary switch this is the switches I'm uh, talking about this is the rotary switch you have four positions and one common you could either wire it on this side or this side it doesn't really matter what side you wire it on this hole here for instance if you're making a bench top power supply you would have a free no this one here free five and twelve volts now this notch here once you line it up the terminal closer to this would be one this is this one focus which is this one so since you have five three five and twelve if you turn to this the system would be off on your power supply you would leave this one bare you'll connect here with the three volts connect here with the five volts connect here with the 12 volts and then you would take a lead here connect a lead here to whatever output you would be going to with the negative of the power supply i draw a little sketch this is it you have one two and three actually the off was supposed to be here but you all will get the hang of it these three are the input this this is where your life would come in either three five and twelve volts this would be the output of your power supply now you could turn it either way it still comes to the same thing on since it's a 10 position switch or should i say a 10 pin switch you could it would be cut in half it would be cut in half <clears throat> and you would use this portion or you can use this portion but the first end here would be pin one on this side you have pin one pin one is always the closest one so this is the hole here this is pin one so if you have a three five and twelve when you in this position it would be off when you take it out from here go here you'd be putting out three volts when you switch again you'd be putting out five volts when you switch you'd be putting out 12 volts when you want to put your unit off you come back here 
now I have this is how the switch is this here is the output you, you see how that is so that would be making connection with one of these and it would always make connection or yeah connection to this one here which is that pin it's always connected to that pin so when you switch when you rotate this it would slide from this position to that position you switch again it slide from this position to that one this one to that one but here always have a continuity so your you off your free balls has continuity here your free balls has continuity here when you switch to five volts continuity here you switch to 12 volts continuity here this is how it works so you always connected to this one you switch you disconnect to the 12 then you go to the 5 you switch again you disconnect to the 5 then you go to the free you switch again then your system is off because you don't have anything on this one now with the computer power supply you could use this as a 5 volt standby you could connect the 5 volt standby here which means you would always have 5 volts current but it's always wise to leave this one bare which when you turn to this position your system goes off you have no voltage coming out of here so this is how the switch works and how you can wire your switch when you turn your knob it's on the off position here which means it cannot go any further you turn it to the 3 volts you turn to the 5 volts you turn to the 12 volts and it stops there it cannot go any further this is how it is in inside here if you notice the connection is here you turn let me put the knob which would make it easier for me to turn you turn if you can see focus you turn again it makes contact you turn you turn now let me just do a little demonstration with this meter This one here would be the output. This one here 
I'll just put it on <clears throat> this one. I could put it on any one of them. Under meter. So when you turn, you make contact. You turn again, it's off. Let me put it on this one here. You see this is You could also use your multipurpose meter to test if you're not sure. This is how you would wire a two pole four position rotary switch. I have a video talking about the problem with this switch. It's a very good switch, but you have to do some minor adjustments to it. I'll put a link to the other video in the description so that you all could have a look at it. If you enjoy the video, please give me the thumbs up subscribe and click on the bell icon i'll put in the link everything i use in this video thank you